Hey folks, JD here, and today we are looking at this guy. This is the SEMA X9, the fly car. It is a quadcopter car. It, it looks really quite cool. Really does look like as if it has been made in a wind tunnel. Really aerodynamic to all of its features. Looks vaguely reminiscent of a land speed record car. Without further ado, let's just quick take a quick little look underneath and refresh ourselves with what's going on here. So we've got two red LEDs at the back, two white LEDs at the front. We've got an on and off switch in the middle here and a battery bay door just sitting there. That's literally it. There's no camera on this. There is nothing else. So what we'll do is we'll just open this up. That's already plugged in. That's good. The battery took about an hour and 20 minutes to charge. Let's lock that down. Right, there we go. Let's pop you on. So there we go, there's those white LEDs at the front and the red LEDs at the back. Let's pop you down, let's bind you to the transmitter. Simple one up, one down motion. That's it. The LEDs now, I don't know how well you can see that, but they are now solid. Okay, so first of all, well, let's try it off in car mode. Should be just the right throttle to move her off. Same as we saw with the JJRC. <laughs> now this is a little bit more erratic than the JJRC. It doesn't want to it doesn't want to drive straight forward as we saw with the JJRC did. Now we're on the same tarmac as with the other one. Wow, it's turning really as quick. From a speed perspective, those seems to be about the same. I wonder if I push her into into high mode whether we'll get any faster out of her. Yes we do. So from low mode, so in low mode which is this speed into fast mode you can really hear she does really kick up. Obviously if you do fly her in or drive her in, in high mode chances are you are going to drain the battery a lot quicker. So let's put it back into low and with that being said let's take her off. So the operation of the quadcopter is exactly the same. Push in the left analog stick in order to take off. Oh, this is really nice. So no altitude hold. So with the right throttle, you're going to want to use that just... Sorry, with the left throttle, you're going to want to use that just to accelerate, just to give you um, enough lift. And then you're going to want to probably just feather that th throttle stick just to maintain the altitude. <laughs> she is dropping altitude a bit and I'm not moving the stick. Um, uh, she seems to be a bit more stable now. Okay, let's give her a little bit more altitude so that she doesn't hit the railings there. Okay, let's pop her into high mode. Not really much of a difference from the quadcopter perspective, but certainly is from the car perspective. I've just popped it back into low speed there. Quite noisy motors on her, but I'll pretty much forgo that this time because you can just drop her to the ground and she turns into a car. <laughs> Simple things, I know folks, simple things, but to be honest with you, it's such a good combination, the quadcopter car. Okay. Quite a bit of noise coming from those motors as it operates as a quadcopter. She's really steady, she's really stable, really easy to control. I mean, for a copter that doesn't have altitude hold, she's doing really quite well just with staying at the same altitude. Yeah, this is excellent. This is really excellent. Okay, let's drop her down and push her back into car. Oh no. Looks like we've got a bit of a problem. Wheels are turning. Wheels will turn left and right. 
but they won't go forward or back. Oh, is that because that one's a little bit... There we go. A little bit of fine tuning and she's a back operable as a car. Okay, so I don't know how that happened. Seemed that the back right wheel was pushed in a little bit and the motor couldn't turn. Okay, so back as a car, back as a quad, and again, everything operates as it should do as intended. Really is a lot of fun. Okay, and with that, a springer down into car. <laughs> so much fun. Oh, batteries look like they're going a bit. Okay, so what we'll do, let's take her and fly her back to the helipad. Perfect. <laughs> Excellent stuff, there we go. All right, folks, let's go for a verdict. All right then, folks, well, this is brilliant. I've had so much fun with this today. Sometimes the simple things are just so much fun. This has no altitude hold, no FPV. It's got no mod cons, apart from it being a car and a quadcopter. And to be honest with you, that is just enough. She flies really well. Her directional movements are really good as a quadcopter. Likewise, her directional movements as a car are brilliant, although she is a little bit erratic when you turn left and right, so be warned with that when you are driving her in car mode. That being said though, this aerodynamic body is just absolutely fantastic. Really, really good and she does cut through the air in low mode and in high as well. So you haven't got that issue in low mode that I have found here today when you try to fly her and she's just banking forward and she won't go anywhere. This really does shift. All in all, a fantastic little quadcopter. Motors are a little bit loud for my liking, uh, but at least they are. They do all sound the same. Issue on this back wheel here, for some reason, it would it stopped turning once the quadcopter picked up from a car into a quad. Uh, so all I did is just basically just pull this wheel out a little bit. I think it was far too much pressure being pushed on this motor, so therefore it couldn't turn the wheels. Since I did that, it's worked absolutely fine. No issues whatsoever. So, that being said, folks, I definitely think this is a quadcopter to look at, uh, especially if you want one just for fun. All right then, folks, so thanks ever so much for watching and listening. I've been JD, you've been fantastic as always. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Hello, and thank you to all the new subscribers. Uh, we are now over 300 subscribers. Thank you ever so much, guys, for your support. It does mean the world. So until next time, my friends, happy flying.